I don't know this person. And I know you. At least I'm starting to. And I know... That when it was time for you to transition... You had to. Because it was right. And I know cis people aren't supposed to say things like you're such an inspiration and because it's a way of putting people on pedestals. You know, as a person with disabilities, I know about that. Oh, you're such an inspiration. You're so strong. No. I'm just doing what I need you to do to survive. But, um, to use the analogy of having a disability if a family member or a friend from before my disability tried to kick me out of my wheelchair or closer to home you know I'm a queer that was just another excuse for mom to hate me you know like, aha now we really got something All the paranoia and the accusations that I'm demon possessed and all that stuff, you know. How she really had something I was a queer. When I left Kentucky and came here, I haven't seen her since. You didn't know. You know, when we're young, we think people live forever. And you were fighting for your life, Michelle. And it must have been heartbreaking to walk away from somebody that you loved. Well, I know something about that. But if that person is going to be an impediment, I'm going to treat you like an enemy for living your life the way you know you need to live it in a way that's natural to you and healthy for you. If somebody's going to demand that you stay sick so that they can be comfortable, girl, you can't give in to that. <coughs> I'm really sorry. I know about thinking about the other memories that could have been. There's no shame. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, it's, it's a really awful thing to do. The other people are in your life. I'm sorry, this world is so cruel to people with integrity. And I'm sorry you're brave and don't go along to get along and
people like us are targets, you know, easy targets. We stand out in the crowd. That's a damn shame. But people make their choices, and we got to let them go. a lot of other people in your life, Michelle, that do support you. They didn't teach you how to smoke your first cigar. I understand. But there's a lot of people in your life that respect you, Michelle. You've got 300 subscribers. And it's not just the Minecraft. Don't take this on. That You didn't do this. You didn't squander the friendship between you. You had to put your back up. You had to have a spine. You had to survive. And the odds against you were pretty fucking bad. And look what you've done with your life. You couldn't have had an extra weight around your neck. I'm out of line. I shouldn't be saying any of this. But you're loved and you're supported. And if I'm being an asshole, I'm sorry. If I'm projecting too much of my own story onto this, I'm sorry. <sighs>